So, boy, uh, my former party is having a field day these these days. Um, talking a lot about how they need to ban a bunch of books and stop talking about history and going into women's uteruses to try and legislate that and pushing back against civil rights movements and talking about trans people being bad or groomers or something and, uh, you know, don't say gay anymore and maybe they'll try to get rid of gay mayor. I don't know what the Republicans are on, but it is wild, man. And the thing that keeps coming to mind with all of this is something that I remember shortly after 9-11 being a big topic of conversation. Sharia law. You remember that conversation? We don't want Sharia law. I think they actually had a case right in Texas where they were talking about how uh, we don't want Sharia law in Texas. Yeah, I guess at the time I thought that it was kind of stupid for them to be worried about that because why would that happen? Well, it turns out maybe I should have been concerned about it. Because if you just take away the word Sharia, which sounds very foreign, the actual laws behind it seem to be very favorable for the conservatives in this country, and they're pretty much trying to enact it. One of the things that the Taliban did in Afghanistan is they made sure to shut down girls' schools because of overeducated women. Does that sound familiar? As you can imagine, the Taliban is also not particularly fond of abortion, so there's that. They're religious fundamentalists, after all, and they wanted to create a religious state. Mm hmm. Again, crazy that that would have any bearing on us here in this country. Banning books. Yeah, sounds like a religious fundamentalist idea. Also, the uh, going against gay people uh, the Taliban had a whole thing where they tried to crack down on men that were going to see uh, <clears throat> dancing boys. Of course, I'm sure that they were punishing the dancing boys and not the men that were going to see them. But So, we didn't like the gay people. We, I'm sure that they don't like the trans people. It would be really surprising if they did. Um, you'll see that in, like, in Kabul right now, all of those window dressings of, like, the models for Vogue and stuff, they're painting over those windows because they want to, you know, go back to a time of modesty. You know, religious values. Hey, Republicans, why do you like the Taliban so much? I'm confused. We spent, like, 20 years fighting religious zealots from Al-Qaeda to the Taliban to ISIS so that we could, what, adopt all of their talking points? I don't know if people watching this are too young to remember, but right after 9-11, when the towers fell because of Al-Qaeda, it was Al-Qaeda, by the way, I don't accept any of your stupid, stupid conspiracy theories, but when Al-Qaeda made the buildings go down, and we were all sad, Jerry Falwell went on television to explain that the reason why we were attacked by a terrorist organization from the Middle East was because of how permissible we were towards gay people. Yeah, that's apparently the reason. And I gotta be honest with you, at that point, I know that there were a lot of conservatives going, oh yeah, we shouldn't have accepted gay people. Whoa, no, hold, hold on a second. If it pisses off terrorists, I say we do more of it. If, if you're telling me that, you know, the terrorists don't like that we accept gay people, I want pride flags all over the Middle East. I want it anywhere the Taliban could possibly see it. I want billboards with two dudes kissing constantly. I want it out there all over the place. I want to shove it in their face so that they have to deal with it. I want trans people on posters everywhere. Deal with it. I want it there. Oh, it pisses off the terrorists? Good. I'm glad. Why is that not the conversation that we're having? Maybe we should be saying, and this would be a messaging thing that I'm sure the Democrats won't do because they're terrible at this. Hey, what about if we 
keep abortion legal and we keep civil rights going and we keep up on the whole, you know, separation of church and state and we make sure that trans rights and gay rights are protected in the United States, not because of any like moral reason, because obviously they don't care about that, but because it pisses off terrorists. Tell me that that wouldn't be a selling point. If you can't get them on the simple moral issue of this would be a good thing for people, fine. Appeal to their hatred. Their hatred of terrorists. I don't understand why you're using all the talking points of terrorist organizations. Maybe you should stop that. (laughs) You know, try that. When that dude gets up and starts talking about how Uh, You know, ectopic pregnancies should come to pass because he apparently doesn't even know what an ectopic pregnancy is or that it can't create a child and that it endangers the mother's life. You know, but who cares because I don't research this. I just pass laws. Come up to him and say that, oh, you want an abortion Taliban? Oh, you want a trans Taliban? Oh, you want a gay Taliban? Just... Just whenever they say they want to ban something. Oh, you want to tally-ban the books? Just put tally-ban instead of ban. Just drive it home. Make it clear the position they're taking. Do that. See how that works. It can't hurt. I don't know why it would. The most they can do is go and cry on Fox News about how they're being victimized as the bad guys. Good. They were going to do that anyway. Let them... People may or may not know, but I was a conservative for a very long time. Until one day, I started to ask, who are these people and what are they thinking? And it was at that point that I was like, well, peace and out of this place. And I would say that I'm on the side of the left now, but the left doesn't seem to know how to message anything. And it's annoying. Because you'll hear these absolute right-wing nut jobs get on television and talk about the stupidest things imaginable. And the response from the left is like, oh, I don't think that's right. Get some teeth, people. Come on. I don't really know how often I'm going to do these little pieces. and, And I don't know exactly what the content is on this channel or if anyone will even care. But I think we got to start talking about the left messaging things to the public, how they can do it and how they can get more people on their side. I think that conversation has to come to pass. Maybe we'll talk about it more in the future. Your prophecy for the day. Don't tell me you're in favor of people's freedoms when your entire platform revolves around taking people's freedoms away.